pyruvate. You can see pyruvate is the end product of glycolysis. Glycolysis is the breakdown of sugar. As sugar breaks down, it breaks down into a number of different things, ultimately breaking down into pyruvate, which enters into a process that's what's called the Krebs cycle. It occurs at the subcellular level and, and produces energy. Remember what we talked about yesterday, that fat burns in a carbohydrate flame? Well, without adequate carbohydrate, fat metabolism is inefficient and can't produce another com compound called coacetyl enzyme A. With proper fat metabolism, these two work, or excuse me, with adequate carbohydrate, these two work in conjunction with one another to make the Krebs cycle a really efficient process. It's like taking a system that's walking and making it run. Or taking, um, taking a thermostat and raising it one or two degrees where we don't necessarily feel that temperature change, but the electric bill does, right? It becomes more expensive. So the goal of pyruvate is to make the system work a little bit more and you actually waste calories through heat. And taken properly, be in the neighborhood of one to 300 calories per day more burn each day. And as you can see, the, the goal recommendation is six grams per day, which is the equivalent to about 14 apples. So you can get the benefit of having nutrients without calories not having to consume 14 hours. Mm -hmm.